Hi there, uh, my name is Zaid. I hold a master's degree in neurodegenerative pharmacology. I am an associate editor with Editage. I have edited close to 2,700 manuscripts. That's around 18 million words of editing. First of all, this is a very common occurrence with journals. Um, what you must understand that having your manuscript written, submitted, and published without any review or revision is very rare. So when you receive negative comments from journals, consider them as constructive criticism to improve your manuscript. As a matter of fact, when I was in grad school, I was always told to leave some room for revision because receiving negative comments from journals is just almost always guaranteed. Here are three basic examples for negative comments from the journal. Language, which is very easy fix, have your manuscript edited and resubmit it again. A second one, more common, is data interpretation, which refers to the author's claims not quite match the data uh, provided in the manuscript, which might require some sort of revision to tone down the, the claims that the data provide. And the third one, which is more serious, is regarding the experimental execution. Of, of the of the study, which might require some lab work. Is receiving negative comments a bad thing? In my opinion, no, or at least it's not meant to be. Uh, rather, it's a common normal practice to improve your manuscript, because at the end of the day, it is the peer review process, which are your peer scientists that are reviewing your work.